Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to import third-party libraries, Python libraries into Snowflake and use them inside a UDF or a user-defined function. It's very easy. It's a five-step process. And the first step is to review your code, the libraries that you want to import. Check for the dependencies and then see whether you can find those dependencies which are already inside Snowflake, if they are available inside Snowflake, uh, inside the Snowpark. To do that, you can use this command. Uh, it's inside information schema and packages, schema, uh, packages view. You can run this command to see what dependencies you can find inside Snowflake. And here you can see the list of dependencies uh, which are equivalent to the name that I've put in. And then this allows you to determine whether I have to upload those dependencies into Snowflake or I don't need to upload those dependencies into Snowflake. That's your uh, step number two. So the first one is review the code. The second step is look for dependencies inside Snowflake. The third is once you found what libraries you want to upload, you create a zip file and then upload that zip file inside Snowflake. And that can be done using a put command. So we have a put command to import the file and put it inside a Snowflake. So this command here, the put will allow you to upload a time zone finder hyphen master.zip file into a default user stage. Uh, and it will overwrite if there is any file uh, already there. Once you have uploaded this file inside Snowflake, then you can use it inside the user defined function. You can reference it inside user defined function. So this is step number three. And so the fourth step is to create a UDF inside Snowflake. So I go inside Snowsite UI, and here you can see that while creating a UDF, we have mentioned which packages are already available inside Snowflake. So these are the dependencies for my uh, time zone finder. So that's the function I'm creating. Uh, so the function that I'm creating is to really get a time based on latitude and longitude uh, coordinates. So this time zone finder library that I have imported from a GitHub repository requires uh, H3 and uh, CF5 dependencies which are already present inside Snowflake. So I've mentioned those inside packages. I've mentioned the path where the zip file was uploaded. And then I create a UDF uh, function, but before creating that, I need to unzip or extract that zip file. And this is the code to extract it. What I'm doing is extracting it in a temp folder. Uh, and I'm giving it the path where the file is present. It's very important that you also define or set the path where the extraction has happened. So this command here really sets the path where the file has been extracted. This allows Snowflake to really refer to the functions and libraries uh, which were in that zip file. So once it's successfully executed, it will create the get time uh, function. So that's step four. Uh, step five is really calling that function. So we can just give this run this command and it will give you the time at that particular coordinates and that time is five o'clock 15 past five in sydney so that's the longitude and, uh, latitude and longitude coordinates for sydney so that's step five so really easy five steps you can upload a zip file a third party python libraries which are not available inside snowflake upload them use them inside UDF, reference them inside UDF, and then call that UDF. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave any comments or reach out to me if you need any help. Until next time, please be safe and take care.